you're feeling very relaxed, so relaxed. You want to stay at home. You want to wash your hands and buy more toilet paper. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is a metronome, a tool that many musicians despise using, probably because they can't keep a beat. So today, we're going to talk about rhythm. So first off, what is a beat? No, we're not talking about the vegetable. A beat is a basic unit of time, kind of like a, kind of like a pulse. When you listen to music and you start tapping your toes, you're feeling the rhythm of the beat. Now you've been probably going through your whole life avoiding math. Well, sorry to be the one to tell you this, but there's a lot of math in music. So let's rip this bandaid off quick and go straight to the time signature. This is a time signature. The top number represents the beats per measure. The bottom number means the quarter note gets the beat. So with 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure, the quarter note gets the beat. The numbers do change, but for this video, we'll keep it simple with these examples. On the left, two beats per measure, and in the center, three beats per measure, but the quarter note still gets the beat. There are times you'll see a C where the time signature should be at. That just stands for common time, which is 4-4. Four, four. A measure is represented by two bar lines. In between the two bar lines, we have a measure to fill with beats. We then want to represent the beats with notes, which add to the rhythm. This is a quarter, and this is a quarter note. If it helps you to learn with money, by all means do it. It represents a quarter of the measure, as it only gets one beat. That means if we have four beats and the quarter note represents one beat, we can have four of these in one measure. How many quarters to get to a dollar? Four. This is a half note, and it represents two beats. Therefore, you must hold the note for the full two beats. Don't lift up. This is the whole note, and you guessed it, it must be held for four beats. Ooh, I'm so tired. Ooh, I hope I can get some rest. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Do you know what I'm forgetting? The rests! Rests are the opposite of notes. Notes you play, rests you don't play. A quarter rest is one beat, and it looks like a squiggly line. Mr. Bones, stop! You're under arrest! Look, all the jokes can't be good. You gotta expect that once in a while. The half rest is two beats, and the whole rest is four beats. The best way to remember is the half rest looks like a hat, and the whole rest looks like a hat upside down. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. Hopefully, I simplified it enough that even a four-year-old child can understand it. But if you still have issues with it, go get yourself a four-year-old child. I'm sure they can help you out. Until next time, practice, practice.